Welcome to the Kanban Board App in Gato tutorial. In this tutorial series, you will learn about theming, user interface design, loading and saving data, drag and drop and much more in Gato. If you haven't subscribed already, do subscribe it's free and helps the videos reach more people. Don't forget to like too. So let's get started with this video. First let's make a new script, in the scripts folder. Name it data store. This script will handle saving and loading the board. I have pasted two methods, which I got from an online source. The first method generates a random integer from 0 to 255. The next method gen you would will generate a random string. The code is in the description. Now let's define a variable to store the default state of the board. For the default state, I will give the board three columns with different names. Each column has an ID, name and cards property. Now let's define another variable for the actual board. The underscore is only for visual purposes it doesn't do anything special to the variable. We will also define the setter and getter for the variable using the setGet keyword. In the setter method, we set the board to the new board. In the getter method, we simply return the board. Let's define another method, save board. Here. We first create a new file object. Then using file.open we pass in the save location and the right flag, so that we can save data to the file. Then we use the store string method to save the board as a string in the file. The var to str method converts the board to a string. Finally, we close the file. Let's define the save location. We specify user which is a special path, where we can save data. The file will be saved as Kanban board.save. The load board method will be similar. Here also we first make a new file object. Then we call file.open and pass in the save location but this time we pass in the read flag since we only want to read the data. To get the content, we use the method, get as text, then we can close the file. If there is some content, then we load the board from that content using the str of our method. Otherwise, we set the board to the default board. Initially, in the ready method, we want to load the board. Just a small change, in the set board method, let's not save the board. Okay. Now let's define another method, update columns. 
It will accept a single argument, new column which will be the new data of the column. In this method, we first need to loop through each column in the board and check if its it is the same as the new column's it. If yes then we set the column to the new column and we also set a boolean did change to true. Outside the loop, if the boolean did change is true, then we can save the board again so that the changes made to the column will be saved to the file. The get and set board methods are not needed in this case because they are not doing anything special, but let's keep them. This script is done. Let's work on the column script now. Right click and attach a script to the column node. Again save it in the scripts folder. Here also we will have a data variable, which has a cards array. These will be all the cards in this column. In the ready method, we will run the onUpdate method, and also connect the onUpdate signal to the onUpdate method. In this method, we first need to remove the old cards in the column. We can do this by looping over the children nodes on the cards node. There we set them to be not visible and the queue free them. In the next part, we need to add the new cards from the data, so we loop through each card in data.cards. Then we need to make a new instance of the card scene. Preload the card scene by using preload and drag and drop the card.tscm. Once we make an instance, we call the from data method, which will set the data of the new card to this card's data. Let's quickly go to the card script and add this method. It accepts a parameter, data. and sets the data to data. We also need to emit the on update signal so that the card updates the necessary UI. Back to the column script. We add the card instance to the cards node. Next, we need to update the column title, if it has one. So we check if the data has a title, if it does then we update the title node's text to the new title.
Otherwise, we set the text of the title node to untitled. Let's call it name instead of title. Let's also add it to the data with initial value as untitled. Let's now add a script to the home node. Here define a method, load columns, which will get the board from the data store. Before I forget, let's add the data store as an autoload. Autoload means that the script will be available on a global level from any other script. Then we loop through each column in the columns node, and remove it. For this, we again use, get children and queue free. After this, we loop through each column of the board.columns, and instance a new column scene. Preload the column scene by dragging and dropping the column scene to the preload method. Set the data of the column to column. Then we add it as a child of the columns node. Let's add the set data method to the column script. We are missing a comma after untitled. Move the add child line above the set data line, since we want to add the node to the scene tree first. Finally, in the ready method, let's call this load columns method. That's it, let's run the scene. Got a typo. Nice the default board was loaded since we don't have a saved board as yet. That's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on push notifications if you haven't already so you don't miss a new video. Do like and comment on the video too.